Good afternoon. It is February 18th, uh, 2024. We're back here on the edge of the Boreal Forest and I'm with Celine. Celine is seven years old and she is eager to learn. Uh, she helped me a little earlier today. Uh, we were making a family crock pot uh, chili recipe and this recipe uh, I've been making for a very long time. Um, a couple decades for sure. <laughs> And we really enjoy it. It is a very versatile chili recipe. Um, it's It just tastes uh, great. And you can tweak it whichever way that you would like to. So Celine and I have already assembled it and it is cooking. So what we wanna do is we wanna take you back in time and show you what we've done. And then uh, we're just gonna let that cook for the day in the slow cooker. And uh, we'll see what the results are later tonight. Did you have fun sleep? Yep. Yeah. What did, what kind of meat did we use today? Mm, deer. We used deer meat, but you can use beef in this recipe. Um, that's actually what it calls for. But we don't buy beef. We we eat wild meat here. So, all right. Do you think it would be tasty? Yep. I think so. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah. All right. Do you know something? Um, no. Nana loves you. I know that. <laughs> All right, so we'll bring you back later on tonight or in a little while when we stir it up and then later on tonight to see the results. Okay? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to chop up the, the green peppers and the onions for the chili. This chili recipe is great for chili dogs as well. You gotta make sure you're camera ready. Are you camera ready? <laughs> We're making uh, crock pot chili. Thank you. You as well. I'm going to put some stuff pants on. Oh my gosh. My belly's sticking out today. <laughs> so look at this. Oh, wow. Every day it's starting to stick out a little more. Oh, that's good, baby. Okay, now to the onions. So we had one green pepper. And my, eye, my eyes don't sting. No? No. Well, these onions aren't terribly fresh so these are Nana's garden onions from last fall oh watch the watch the camera so that people can see you do this to get money no nope, I am doing this because I want you to be able to look back at this channel later on when you're older well, I mean young, young when you're older and then we can make our own recipes yeah and, and you can, can see how Nana does it Make sense? Yeah. You can help me with the assembly. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so we have chopped up here uh, one green pepper and it says two uh, large onions chopped up. So it was like one large onion and like three, three, maybe three small onions somewhere in there. So we've got the vegetable part of it chopped up um, we're going to fry the meat here pretty quick. All right, so today Celine and I are going to make a, a slow cooker or crock pot chili. This is one of my favorite chili recipes. So we're just going to go through the ingredients. Um, two pounds of ground beef, browned. We are actually going to use ground deer. Um, two 16 ounce cans of kidney beans, you can see that. And we're gonna drain and rinse those. 
two 14 ounce cans of diced tomatoes and I'm gonna use my, my home canned tomatoes. So we're gonna use two jars of that. Um, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I do have home canned tomato sauce, but we're gonna use this one up. So eight ounces of this. And we've already chopped up the onion uh, and we've already chopped up the green pepper. And we're going to use, uh, it says two cloves of garlic, chopped up fine, but I'm gonna use up some of the garlic that I have here. The jar is almost empty. So we're going to use that. And it calls for two tablespoons of chili powder, but I put one. Um, we don't like our chili as hot, so I put one and it's still quite tasty. And then two tablespoons of table salt, and one teaspoon of pepper. And we're gonna assemble it all together and combine it in the slow cooker and it will cook on low for about eight to 10 hours. You can put it on high and cook it as well, uh, but you're going to have to watch it a little bit more. Also too, what I have added to this recipe is I have added a can of uh, pork and beans, uh, which is optional and also a can of mushroom pieces and stems, which is optional if you don't want to put that in. So when this has slow cooked for eight to 10 hours, or if you have to put it on high, it'll be less. Um, uh, when you're ready to serve it, you can serve it with uh, shredded cheddar cheese on top. So that's something else that you may want to have, or even a marble cheese or even mozzarella is very good. So these are the ingredients for the crock pot chili recipe. Uh, we are going to uh, brown the beef right away or the deer and we're going to get these cans opened up and get them ready to assemble into our crock pot over here. Okay, so Selena is going to help me rinse the beans. I'm going to take them out of the can for her first. So we're just going to put them in a colander. Selene, can you hand me the other jar or the other can? Thank you, ma'am. Kind of a little broken up. But that's okay. They'll still taste good. And I'm thinking that the thought behind it is that the uh, sauce from the canning process is actually, I read, I, correct me if I'm wrong, that the sauce from the canning process is what, what gives you the gas from the beans. So we're going to run some cold water. Down here, please. There you go. Nice and cold. Okay, and then you pull it down and just rinse it like that. Okay. Yeah, it has to be cold. Yep, pull it down and just rinse it. Nana will stir it. So you just give the beans, the beans a good rinse. There we go. All right, nice good rinse. And then I'll turn the water off and then we'll just let them drain. Thank you, Celine. Okay, so I do drain the mushrooms. I just do otherwise it gets to be too much liquid in the chili. So we've drained the mushrooms. We're gonna brown our meat. So we have some oil here. We're gonna let that heat up. Okay, just keep an eye on that. Got that? So it's heating up. And then what are we going to do? Put the meat. Put the meat in there. Uh -huh. And then we're just kind of going to scramble fry it till it's brown, right? Yep. Doesn't have to be totally cooked through. Uh -huh. Just till it's brown. That's what you looks like after 100 years old. <laughs> yeah, that is one of Papa's gear. That was from last year's. Uh, no, it's a few years ago. It's the last little bit of a, 
a deer that he got a few years back. So unfortunately, and Celine knows this already, that uh, everybody got skunked in the hunting department uh, last fall. Uh, there was no moose or elk brought in, which is unfortunate because that's, that's our red meat. So we're just gonna break this up. And she was even home. She uh, was able to get time off of school to come home and uh, witness and, and learn how the retrieval happens. But unfortunately, there wasn't a retrieval. So, did you help Nana in the garden? So essentially, who was the only one that brought food into the house last fall? Yes. <laughs> yes, the, the garden. <laughs> That's the only thing that brought food into the house last fall. So we've got it broken up a little bit here. When you get old enough, are you gonna hunt your, on your own? I think it would be fun. It's a good skill to learn. Yeah, but I want to be a teacher. Well, you could still be a teacher and hunt at the same time. Did you not know that? No. Yeah, you can. You can't hunt full time anyways. You only hunt in the fall for the most part. And in the fall, you get, for teaching in the fall, you get a day off. You get the summer day off. Yeah. Yeah, teacher, that's why that wants to be a teacher because she gets the sound of the dog. Mm-hmm. She teaches college though, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. And your dad is an engineer, right? He gets the summer off too. Well, I guess some of the summer. Yeah, but not the whole summer. He's the hunter in the family, right? I thought Papa was. Well, Papa is too. I shouldn't say that your dad your dad is the hunter in your family. There's lots of hunters in the big extended family. Yeah, like Uncle Dana, Papa. Yeah. Dad, Uncle Travis. Well, I don't know if Uncle Travis hunts, but Uncle Aaron hunts. Uncle Aaron. Mom hunts. Mom. And Mom. What else? Nana used to hunt a little bit. She should get back into it, but she's usually taking care of the garden and the kids if they're home. Five. We have more than five. Oh, there's a few. Five. Oh. Six. <laughs> well, I'll let you keep figuring that out, and we're going to finish browning this meat, and then we'll bring you back, and we'll get Celine to assemble it. That's a gross noodle. Yeah. Is there a noodle under there? Yeah. Nana's got a cleaner no, stove. Right in that one. Yeah. Nana's got a cleaner stove top here. All right. We'll bring you back. All right. So Celine and I have uh, browned the meat and we're getting ready here to uh, assemble the chili. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring the meat over because it's hot. And we're going to put it into the crock. There's a little bit of juice in there, and that'll be fine. That's my sock. I use it to cover the battery that uh, makes the, the tripod work. So we have the meat. And then we're going to put in the uh, rinsed two cans of kidney beans. And then Celine, we're gonna put in two uh, jars of Nana's uh, diced uh, home garden tomatoes. So you can do that, pour them in there. Right in. Good. And we'll give you the next one. There you go. We're trying to figure out how to get two people by this tripod. Okay, perfect. Two cans of diced tomatoes and then one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Pour it right in. Turn it upside down and just give it a bit of a shake. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just 
gonna scrape it out here. The meat smells good. What's that? The meat smells good. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna have it uh, with some of some homemade buns from the Easy Bun recipe, and I will put a link in the description box down below so that you can uh, check out the Easy Buns. Okay, so then we've got two two large onions chopped. And this is uh, one large onion and about three small. So we'll put that in. Okay. And then we have the uh, one green pepper chopped. Put it in. Yep. And it says two garlic cloves. So, and I, like I said before, we're going to use use up this bit of garlic. So I'm going to give this to Celine. I'll just put what I think is two garlic cloves full. And you can put that in there. Make sure and get it all. Got it? Mm -hmm. You think that's enough? Okay. <laughs> Don't want too much garlic in there. And then we need... I have to do two garlic leaves. And a yeast. We're going to use just one tablespoon of chili powder. Just sprinkle it. Sprinkle it as best you can. Yeah, just sprinkle it. Okay. Keep sprinkling. Is that on? No, nope, not yet. We'll turn it on in a bit here. Mm. Probably would have been a bonus if it was, though. Yep, yeah, keep sprinkling. Doing good. Good job there, girl. That's all of it. Okay, so that's the chili powder. Then it calls for two tablespoons of salt, but we're gonna put uh, one in a little bit here. So we'll start with the one. We'll probably put one and a half because Nana forgot to Salt the meat a little bit in the frying pan. What's a half? I'll figure it out here. Uh, typically with the wild meat, I do salt and pepper it right in the frying pan as well. But we were busy chatting and Nana forgot. So add a little bit more there. And one tablespoon of black pepper. There you go. It's gonna taste good. All right, what do we have left there, Celine? Uh, the, yep, the mushrooms, yeah, which mushrooms. she doesn't like, but I told her she could pick them out. Mushrooms yeah. Yeah. and beans. Yep. All right, so you pick what you want to put in first. Uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Okay, throw the mushrooms in there. Did they all come out? Yeah. Got it? Okay, I'll put the beans in because I think they're kind of on the bottom here. They're kind of stuck. Oh my goodness. This is a big, this will be a fairly big batch. This will feed quite a few people. Oh, they're still not here. Who's not here? Oh, they'll be here soon. She's waiting for her cousins to come. They are on their way, so we're gonna stir this up. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. It looks delicious. It hmm. looks like it's it looks like it's just made of a bunch of weird stuff, but it's actually smells pretty good. Okay, so uh, we're gonna uh, let that cook on low for eight to ten hours in the crock pot or the slow cooker here. Um, yeah, I see that. It's chili powder. Be careful. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna check on it, uh, I don't know, every hour or so, and if we're around, and um, uh, stir it. And then it'll be ready for later on. And like I said, you can top this off with a shredded cheddar cheese or marble cheese or even mozzarella cheese. You okay? This is great with uh, like garlic toast or um, like I said, the easy buns that I make, the easy bun recipe. Um, 
it's good great on uh, chili dogs uh, we really love it it's a very versatile chili so um, we will uh, let it cook for a little while and then we'll bring you back maybe once or twice here during the cooking process and then at the end we will bring you back and show you the finished product all right was that easy yeah okay all right we're gonna let this cook now all right bring your stool up there Okay, so our chili that we made this morning actually sat all on its own, all day and slow cooked. So we're gonna take a look at it. This is the first time we're looking at it today. So, oh my goodness, doesn't that look delicious, Celine? Yeah. Let's take a look. Just hold on. Stir it. Look at that. It smells delicious, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, should we put some in a bowl? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna show them what it looks like in a bowl. Are you able to scoop it up? Yeah, I think. All right, scoop it up there, honey. There we go. Let's, let's give them a look at it here. There we go. Can you see that? That looks delicious. You know what we're missing though? Cheese. Let's put some cheese on there. Sprinkle a little bit more on there, dear. A little bit more. There we go. What do you think? You think it's ready to eat? Yeah. All right. So this is the crock pot chili recipe. Did you enjoy this? That's good. Thank you for cooking with me. It's pretty hot. We'll maybe let it cool off for a bit. And then we'll Someone taste better it. taste it. All right. Mama's going to come in here and taste it. Because I'm starving. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? It's delicious. Just a little bit sleepy. Yeah, blow on it first, sweetheart. Then it'll be hot. Here you go. Oh, yummy. Yeah. Does it get an A? Okay, you're making me hungry now. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, that's the uh, crock pot chili recipe. Thank you, Celine. Oh, I'm telling you, it must have been good. We've been home for not even an hour and a half. And it's almost all gone. The family really enjoyed it. And I hope you do too. Thank you for watching.